hello collective welcome back to the platform thank you for watching as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel you are greatly appreciated i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families okay i return to source i return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in on the purest of white light and pray that you stay on it in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay, whatever your enemies have stolen from you, try to steal from you. It is yours, it's being returned to you. It is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of your enemies against you are being dismantled. They are dismantled as we speak. All bondages placed in your path, in your life by your enemies. All those bondages are broken. All the chains placed in your path by your enemies, those chains are chains are broken, removed, and broken. As I have said, uh, so shall it be. And judgment is final. Honey, you got to excuse me. Yesterday, my day, I had someone sending me some type of energy so that I won't want to do my work anymore, that I wouldn't feel motivated or my messages would be interrupted. I said, you know what? I'm just gonna let this pass on. Like let's let let's 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 like let this energy pass on through. So I said, I'm just gonna post one today, once today. That's what I did yesterday, and you know, I did other stuff, slept, wasted time, whatever. We are back, folks. We are back. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess Terror Channel. We are back in operations. Let's go ahead and see what our Oracle card is saying today. It said breakthrough. Navigate life's many twists and turns with elegance and resilience. Magic opportunity. Ooh, a member of our collective, uh, the collective soul tribe, you're about to be receiving opportunities that are going to lead to your breakthrough, changing your situations and things like that. A beautiful. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this tarot reading. Maybe this is a heifer here that's trying to interfere with my energy, my communication with my ancestors. It ain't working. Let's see, my ancestors are behind. Uh, behind the scenes giving someone a bombastic style are you, are you telling us you don't want us to communicate with our daughter are you mad are you mad <laughs> anyways let's go ahead and see what in the name of source is going on we have a queen of wands here there's some type of ending that's coming for her this is something this woman has been trying to prevent for quite a while behind the scenes this is a jizzy bell from what i've gotten from her energy because this person has been showing up in my readings repeatedly sometimes actually a lot of the times in the reverse letting me know this is someone on candy this is someone on hinge someone is desperately trying to hold on to a man that does not want her i don't know what the heck this is i don't speak that language so i cannot explain to you all i don't understand that math I love math, but I don't understand that math that she's calculating. She's going to be calculating for a long time because this math ain't never going to math in any universe, in any dimension, in any realm. That math is never going to math. Someone has either stolen a property as well. They are being put out of that property because it has been brought to, the, to someone's attention that this is a thief. There's a woman being put out of a home, okay? There's a woman being left behind, like a masculine is leaving her behind because he sees the truth about her okay someone was desperate to hold on to either some another person or a property that does not belong to them um and yeah sources say yeah we don't think so we don't think so with that source out there this is truth and clarity for someone that needs it maybe you're the masculine dealing with this crazy woman she's been doing a whole lot behind the scenes someone who have gotten together with one of her boyfriends yet yeah, you're with her she has a boyfriend and another boyfriend and another boyfriend maybe even a girlfriend hey who know hey listen she has attachments many 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 attachments someone is very karmic very toxic refuses to heal healing is not a priority to this woman but she wants a commitment she presents herself in this likeness this is not her this is her okay she could go to this, but she's not willing to do the work to get to that energy. So she's going to stay in this energy and she wants you to stay with her. You're going through some type of healing in life. You're going through some type of ascension. This woman don't want you going through some type of ascension. She may even be trying to shut someone else down behind the scenes. So if you are interested in someone else, uh, this woman is trying to shut them down, hide them, maybe even pick a fight with them so that you cannot connect with them. She wants to change that person's image. Okay, the, the image of that person, you have some type of image of uh, idea of a person that you're interested in and she's working on changing that. This is her, but she's telling you that whoever you are interested in, this is them. That is not true. This is this woman right here, whoever you are with, and this is her. And this is why this source is out here as well. Okay, 
while she's going through some type of change, losing something, whoever she's been trying to destroy is coming out of some type of like. And this like that this person was going through was caused by her and many, many others behind the scenes. So there's been a whole lot going on behind the scenes um, around you. You could have been involved in this as well. Maybe you were not uh, uh, privy to the extent that people were going to to prevent someone's ascension, someone's elevation in life. And you didn't realize while you were working against someone, you the masculine, uh huh, you were sleeping with the enemy. And oh, this is clarity for you. You are stepping into some, going through some type of ascension and you're going to be very successful. Whoever she's been trying to destroy, this is their path, new opportunities, abundance, clarity by, about this situation. Something is being illuminated, okay? Someone is desperate to hold on to you. They're desperate to hold on to you. This is someone going through a lot of emotions behind the scenes, throwing a lot of temper tantrums, got a whole lot to say, but the truth is out here, okay? The truth is out here, and there's nothing she can do to hide it. It's been exposed. She and her, uh, 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 what is it? What do you call them? Partner in crimes. They've been doing a lot behind the scenes to block something from coming together. Maybe block someone's manifestation, block someone's downloads, like myself here. Just doing too much behind the scenes, okay? There's something going on. I don't know if this woman has something against a queen of swords, um, but this queen of swords here, don't play. And someone is finding it out very, very hard. She's finding it out the hard way. Someone picked a fight with the wrong one. You know how they say you, you're barking up the wrong tree? Where well, this sucker here, while she started, when she started barking up the wrong tree, the, the ancestors up in that tree told her, you need to walk away. This, ain't, this here ain't what you want. This here ain't what you want. You don't want the smoke. Because, honey, we'll go from the smoke to extreme real quick. You won't even know what hit you. We got options on things we can do to you. We got options when it comes to where we can hit you so you can feel it. And they're doing just that. That's why she's going through unending disappointment, losing finance, losing money. If she was using you for money, she's going to have to figure out how to get her own money. Self-sufficiency, baby, is very essential to everybody alive. Self-sufficiency. You got to go learn that word, learn the definition, and apply it to yourself some way, somehow. But being using a man for a bag, it, it, that's not, it doesn't translate to that. Okay? Okay, so we have a queen of swords out here that's living quite content in life. Someone may have told you that this queen of swords was not independent, did not know how to take care of themselves, didn't have nothing going on. Someone may have been advocating to have someone unemployed, did a uh, 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 fire from work, put out of a home. This is everything they were doing behind the scenes to get someone put out of their home, like temper with their stability, okay? So then if you meet this person and they're all homeless or just, out there poor broken and just in despair don't have nothing to bring to the table you are going to reject them okay that's not what happened they're burdened because this person they're coming after is extremely protected honey this person is so protected i'm telling you they are so protected it's leaving these people people baffled they've never met anyone this protected in life huh? this is like one of the situations where people get together they plan something out from a to z right they plan it out on how they're going to execute something. And the moment they're done planning and go to take action to execute something, it falls apart. Because whoever they're coming after is very protected. Someone stands, someone doesn't only stand their ground, their ancestors are backing them up. So they're so while these people may think they're going after just a flesh, it's not just the flesh you're going after. You need to think about what's in that flesh, what's in that vessel. There's more in that vessel. Someone is directly. In communication with source whoever you're coming after they are directly in communication with source source gives them the tools that they need to defend themselves in life and their ancestors are never far someone is protected by a lot of energies a lot of uh, divine beings around this person and so you'll always be disappointed because this all person will always be protected so whatever you try to do to cause someone loss Whatever they, if they lose something, whatever they lose, it's always going to be multiplied 10 times full. You, on the other hand, because of the energy you vibrate in, I'm telling you, it's always going to be multiplied 10 times full. Okay? You can take like a page of wands. You can try to temper with them, when, uh, like a page of pentacles, right? 
they're just at the beginning of their journey or something and you see that they're about to start growing elevating and you do something to interfere with their growth whether they own a business or something you interfere with their business what source is going to look at you look at the situation and say oh okay well then they deserve to have the, have the ace of wands ace of pentacles and that's what they give them a brand new beginning someone could be working a job and you go out of your way to get them fired or something and guess what another one is coming right by so they say hey we have a brand new opportunity available for you okay and it just comes out of nowhere you're not even expecting it sometimes you don't even have to apply for the position they'll just reach out to you or something like that of course look into it you know i'm cautious over here look into everything but it's it's just miraculous things like that you lose one thing and then so it just gives you something even bigger and better and you're just uh, walking around with a smile on your face and people are pissed off why are you so happy okay this is them right it's there that we're de we've depleted all your resources. We told a lot of lies on you and stuff. Why are you still out here being content? And you're like, um, well, you know, Source already told me I was taken care of. So I don't know what you was doing, but thank you for the entertainment. Okay. You want me to be afraid of you, but I'm not afraid of you. You're you you may want to focus on the problems you have going on. Yeah. Everything you invested in is always secure, collective. Everything you invest in. It's always secure. You have that Midas touch. Everything you touch turns to gold. Just don't touch your ancestors or your, well, you know, no, you can touch your ancestors. They know how to protect themselves from that. Just don't touch your family members because you don't want to turn them to gold. Okay? The nice family members. If the if it's the ones that, uh, that have been doing you something, trying to do you something, accidentally touch them. Wink, wink. They can't use the gold anyways after that. So... Just you know, accidentally touching that hey, girl. What you talking about? Oh, statue. Okay, you always have options in life, no matter what, and that's what people don't know. You're you always have the capability to go within and see a situation from a higher perspective. You're someone very good at introspection, so you always see things from multiple different perspectives, which gives you an upper hand. Okay, someone in here is going to need legal counseling. Whoever this woman is, has been busy doing too much too much like Medea says too much behind the scenes you're going to need legal counseling because you you have something that's coming up for you that's going to be like i don't know how you're going to be able to go through this but honey you're about to go through a lot lot a lot lot a lot lot like all of your deceits all your deeds are going to be exposed people are going to be turning on you exposing you you may have a partner behind the scenes that you've been working with to interfere with other people's lives and things like that they don't want you you meeting with someone collective sir whoever's watching this i think this message is for a man you're being told what a woman is doing behind the scenes in regards to you and maybe the woman is also watching this video whoever you are interested in is watching this video this is what this jesse bell is doing behind the scenes folks to prevent the two of you from coming together she's he is either in some type of karmic situation with her or he was in a karmic situation with her. She's trying to keep this karmic situation going on forever because she benefits from it. She benefits from it. Okay. So source is stepping in there and putting some type of into it because, sir, you could have made it clear to the heavenly host that you are ready to ascend and live in your truth. So since you're doing that, I don't know how far along you are in your journey with this is a source out here maybe you are far far along and she just does not realize how far far along you are and she's still trying to feed you nonsense you are gone gone okay you are gone gone you're focusing on meeting people that are like you connecting with like-minded people right yeah you and someone you're interested in could have some type of past life connection. And this is why you feel so connected to them. Like when you see them, hear them, or hear about them, something about that, it puts you at peace. It brings joy to your heart. I think sometimes even you just seeing someone smile, it brings joy to your heart. This is what this woman wants to get from you, but it's not going anywhere. You and this person could have been together for a very long time, maybe since you two were kids or something like that middle school high school i don't know college you two have been together for a long time and she's not willing to heal someone is just greedy very greedy all she cares about is money okay so you might want to be careful yeah be very careful because sister is not going to stop at anything to block you and someone from coming together and she has gotten other people to work with her so it's not just her 
It's a whole, I'm telling you, it's not just her. She has a whole uh, 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 group of legions working with her. Our master said we must prevent these two from coming together, so we must prevent them. It's a group of legions, souls of legions, working together, trying to calculate what's the next best thing to do, trying to figure out what's up next. What is this divine feminine going to be receiving so we can go and interfere with it? What is this masculine planning on doing? Someone talk to him, sugarcoat him, you know, butter him up so we can figure out what his plans are so we can get in there and prevent it from taking place. Uh-uh. Source is like, nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nope. Yeah. There's something here where it has to do with the court system and they're doing something behind the scenes to interfere with it. Someone is absolutely being put out of a home. It don't matter. I'm telling you. Someone is absolutely being put out of a home. I don't care what you do today, tomorrow, the day after, you're still being put out of that home. Absolutely. Someone stole a home for some of you. You own a house that someone has been blocking you from receiving and they're going to be put out of their home. Yeah. If they have children, they may want to start figuring out where they're going to live, but someone is going to be put out of a home. Yeah. Something, some of you collective members, soul tribe members, there's something that's going to end for you, but it's going to be a blessing that this ends for you because as soon as it ends, something new is going to be beginning for you. Okay. So this is not something you need to be afraid of. Something is ending so you can go and in, step into some type of new beginning. And you're going to be connect. Yeah. You're, yeah. You're going to be connecting with your new, uh, 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 with your soul tribe. Yeah. You're going to go through some type of rebirth. As soon as something ends, something new is going to begin. But don't interfere or anything. Let the universe just kind of let it, you know, take care of itself. Let it take care of, of itself. Don't get in there trying to put two and two together, trying to read tidying boats and stuff like that. Is the universe losing up those boats, those screws? Let them stay that way. It's for a reason. They're telling you something is no longer for your highest good. Like something has served its purpose in your life. Now it's time for something new. Okay, look at that. You know, yeah, yeah. I don't want me to, you know, get my downloads and stuff like that. These messages are essential. Who's gonna give the message if I don't? The other terror readers. The other terror readers are fabulous, but they get one side of the story. I get one side of the story. They tell their side of the story, right? We're like news brought news of uh, news uh, anchors, reporters. That's a different station over there. This is a different station over here. Okay. Maybe this one is Al Jazeera and I'm BBC. Al Jazeera tells their news a little different and they get different information than BBC. Listen here. Leave me alone. It ain't working. My ancestors are committed to me. Honey, they ain't committed to you trying to get in between this good thing we have going on here. What's wrong with you? Sit down somewhere. Gonna ever run pissed off my ancestors, and then you really see them for who they are. Cause, honey, <laughs> they don't play like that now. You're gonna be hanging in the air like some type of rotisserie chicken, but ain't nobody eating you. They're gonna dry you out. We're from Africa. We dry meat out. Whether you're a fish, goat, chicken, whatever, we dry you out real good. Honey, my ancestors about to have you hanging out here like some type of dry meat. Okay. You better quit it. You better quit it. And them suckers go from uh, 90 to 360 like that. I'm telling you, they're committed. But anyways, honey, in divine timing, someone is coming in to give you a commitment. They see you as someone very articulate, very intellectual. Someone is very turned on by your intelligence, right? They find fulfillment in you. Just hearing you speak. You have your sword pulled out and they like that. People don't want that person to like you for any of those things. These are people that have been telling this person that you don't have anything to offer. So they've been tempering with your character and your image to this person. However, he sees the truth. He knows the truth. You brought some type of awakening to someone and they're grateful for that. Someone used to be a heavy drinker into toxic behaviors and things like that. He's going through some type of healing. And you may not even be aware that you helped this person heal. So you are some type of a uh, 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 safe haven for someone, but not in a toxic way. 
This is not one of those codependencies where this masculine is codependent on you as far as, oh, I can't, I got to hold on to them, okay? We got to be together at all times, or I have to hear their voice. Or, it's nothing toxic. They're just very happy for how you've helped them. While they're happy that you've helped them, their family behind the scenes, and this woman they're leaving is not so happy. It is, she's not so happy. Okay, she is not so happy. They're not happy. Okay, but this man sees you as someone very intellectual, very independent, self fulfilled. You don't need other people to validate you. These are all things that he likes now. This is something that may have turned this kind of masculine up back in the day before he started going through his healing. But now that he's seeing things from a different perspective, he's seeing that, yeah, that is actually how women are supposed to be self sufficient, okay, uh, uh, independent. Uh, articulate, intelligent, right? In the upright, reserved, like not uh, not out, not open, not giving a pat back to everybody, right? Intellect is something that's very important. It should be something a lot of women should focus on. But you know, the world we live in now, they put more emphasis on your body than your mind. So you know what it is. Someone traded. Listen, 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 listen. Yeah, whatever she's offering is not fulfilling for him anymore. So he's gone. He said, I'm out of here, folks. Listen, Linda, I want to go on. Leave, leave me be. I'm out of here, Linda. Come back. We've been together since high school. We've been together since high school. You're just going to throw all those years away? And he said, what years? Linda, I'm not happy. You're not happy. Listen, I'm telling you, I'm not happy. You're not happy. We've been trying to force this to work. I don't want to force it to work anymore. I want to live joyfully. I want to be happy. I want to know what it means to be in a fulfilling relationship, being the best version of myself. I want to heal. Linda said, F healing. We've been together again since high school. Linda is trying to secure her bag, sir. Linda said, you, you're my bag. Linda don't want to heal. Linda said, you're my bag. You secure me. I don't care about healing. I know that Starcy is healing. She's helping you. And you two are meant to be. But I want you to stay. This is really bothering me. <laughs> uh-huh girl 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 you're pushing him even farther and farther away every time you do that listen listen i'm telling you listen linda whoever this darcy is they're not they don't even know that you're i don't know who this is your boyfriend ex-boyfriend husband ex-husband they don't even know that he's interested in them and you've been trying to come after this woman to destroy her mm -hmm. and she don't even know you girl you you need help help you need help, help, okay? You need help, help. There's too much truth out here. You're living in fear because you know what's about to take place. If you're the one that stole the home, you're losing that home. If you're the one trying to hold on to a man that don't want you, I'm gonna, we're going to need you to let go of that desperate energy because you're giving up desperate, desperate, desperate. And we're allergic to that energy on this channel. Achoo! We're allergic. Okay? There's an emperor behind the scenes going through some type of tower, okay? There's an emperor absolutely behind the scenes going through some type of tower or a tower is coming for him. This man was trying to block your, your forward movement. This man has been trying to hinder a feminine, figure, feminine energy behind the scenes for a while now. And he's been getting really frustrated because everything he's been doing is working against him. Someone has sunk themselves into some type of hole they're not able to get out of or this is what's coming up for you okay someone is very malicious someone is used to doing things some type of secret a uh, uh, thing he does behind the scenes he tempers with equipment systems tells a lot of lies all kinds of stuff and he's he's done this for years to multiple people he's done this to uh, for years to multiple people but for some reason i think an emperor has met his match as far as, I don't mean you and this man belong together. No, not in this dimension, not in this lifetime or any other lifetime. What this is, is an uh, evil person has met their match in someone that's in the upright. So everything he does to you, you have some type of uh, 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 refute to it. I don't know what the word is that I want to use. You have some type of remedy, remedy for it. So he shuts a system down. You know how to reboot it and bring it, back, bring it back up. He erases something. You know how to bring it back up. So someone has met their match. They've done this for 
they do this. I don't know if it's for entertainment or someone is bothered by you. I don't know what it is. You could be like a star seed. Maybe you're a high priestess. You're gifted and you're out there with your gifts and things like that. Or someone knows you're very intuitive. You may be bothered by this. But for some of you, this man maybe has some type of emotions for you that's not reciprocated. So he's bothered by it. Someone has a problem with your mental. It's that you see things differently. You live differently. You live as yourself. You, you embrace who you are, whether this is spiritual or not. And it bothers him. So he has been on some type of mission to make it seem like you don't know what you're doing. You're illiterate. You're incompetent. You're something. Like he's he's set on proving that you're something, but it's not going in his favor. Someone has met their match. Like you undo everything he does, or you know some type of way around everything he does. And he's it's pissing him off. This man has gone out of his way to block your resources, your income, and things like that. He wanted you seeing him in some type of light, like he's in the upright. He's not, and you see that, and it bothers him. That's for someone. I'm telling you, while you're this Jizzy Bell is going through an ending behind the scenes, you're coming out of the cold and going stepping into abundance. This man sees you as someone worth working for, with, not for, with, okay? He sees you as someone worth committing to, and that's what he's going to do. And he's going to do this in divine timing. He already has a plan. They don't know what he's planning for some of you. And for some of you, this is someone you don't that, that you've never met. This is a higher level soulmate that's going to be connecting with you in divine timing. And he has foresight of what he's going to do and when he needs to. Okay? Everything is kind of being balanced out. And this is not, not how they plan it. This whom here someone is losing, it was an inheritance that was left for someone else. This was something that was supposed to put you in a very beautiful energy, self-sufficient, independent. For some of you, there's a in the future as well, someone is gonna leave a property for you. Because someone is very grateful for you for what you've done to them. Sometimes we we do some type of little act of kindness, but we don't we don't realize how instrumental that little act of kindness was to that person we did it for okay we don't understand how instrumental it was for them until they go telling you i left you a house or someone tells you like a court official tells you hey john left you a house okay yeah john left you a house or something and someone is disappointed about that so while you're elevating your enemies are going through endings. They've been trying to cause you a loss. Loss after loss after loss after loss. But the universe keeps bringing you back. They keep trying to hold you back. And the universe keeps keeps bringing you back. The universe ain't trying. The universe is bringing you back into abundance. It's a, hey, uh-uh. They're all there right there. That's not what we plan for you. This is what's yours. And some of you are about to be, like, going from rags to riches. Just like that. Just like that. Mm. There go the bitter bed, bitter berries, bitter barons, and bitter bends. Just a bitter, 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 and they need to heal, but they don't want to heal. Living, they rather be living in fear. And you're you're aware of everything these people have been doing. Everything, everything. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you. You're aware of everything. Someone's losing it behind the scenes. Uh, with this four of swords out here and this six of swords, someone is uh going bye-bye. Like someone is going back home. There's someone that's going back home. Someone may have gotten in an accident. Someone may be sick and they're going back home. And you could have people that are going through a lot of emotions behind the scenes. Maybe they don't know what this person was doing behind the scenes, all the actions they were taking against you behind the scenes. But someone is more than most definitely going back home for coming after you. You could have had someone that was driving towards you, to, towards your home, to come and do you something and end up in some type of accident. Uh, someone may have fled the scene of an accident as well. But there's a whole lot of emotions going on behind the scenes. A whole lot. They're going to have to move on. Yeah, someone is more than likely, I'm telling you, someone is 
I don't know. That's not cute right there. Someone is passing away. Someone is sick. Um, someone is not doing too well. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, they're not doing too well. Someone may have some type of illness. They're trying to hide, act like it's not there, refusing to get help. Someone has some type of mental issue as well. They've been hiding from people. And maybe people don't know that, but this is something this woman has been dealing with her entire life. This is someone on hinge. She may be having a hard time recovering. Okay. She may be having a hard time recovering, but for the one that, that didn't pass away yet, in order for you to heal, you need to do some work with your heart. You need to do some work with your heart. Your heart, you're very bitter in at heart. Yeah, you need to go through some type of ascension. And this is what you're trying to avoid. So I don't know what to tell you. You're busy out here trying to block other people's future. And you don't realize you're making things worse for yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You people are letting your emotions get the best of you. It's weird because a lot of the times karmics, you know, they act like they don't have feelings. They're just barbaric. But deep down, their emotions are all over the place. They're unstable. Like you all have learned how to pretend like you don't have emotions and nothing bother you. But you know the people oftentimes you're coming after have foresight of who you are, that you're just lying. You see that? Oh, listen, I was just saying it, but listen, foresight of who you are, deep down, all the deceit. We know what we see is all deceit. There's an emotion, there's a storm of emotions going on beneath the surface. That's why you all take dumb actions just to trap yourself in something that you should not be a part of. So there's someone behind the scenes telling a lot of lies, still bribing people still giving donations or taking donations to do someone something it's not going to end in your favor what the heck is this mess aren't you i'm getting tired of this story every time i sit down here yeah I, i'm telling you it's not going to do much whoever you're coming after you're not going to be able to destroy them this is a whole freaking yeah this is a family business of trying to destroy one person yeah, a healer. Trying to destroy a healer. You're not going to be able to. Whoever you're coming after is way... This person has mastered himself. I've seen the magic magician show up here a couple of times. Someone is a little bit too alert. Someone is healed and they are genuine. But they know... I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to say but they know. Because they know what you all are, they can see you all a mile away when you're coming with these disingenuine offers. So they're very vigilant, okay, about who you all are and what you're uh, coming to them with. So, you know, this is them. Say, I think about it. They ain't really thinking about it. Let me tell you, sir. They're not really thinking about it. They're, I'm telling you, they're not really thinking about it. And it's causing you all burdens. Because you already know someone is onto you. The chapter is over. And you're still, listen, the chapter is over and you're still trying to cause uh stagnation and still missing stuff it's over okay this is a this is crazy it's too many characters i'm telling you someone has self-mastered himself it's too many characters in here too many hands in the pots trying to destroy one person that's where you all went wrong you got too many people involved there's a woman in here that got too many people involved in trying to end someone to block a union from coming together. This will be one of the women that she's testing the man, calling the man all day to see what he's doing, who he's with. She wants to make sure you're not with the divine feminine. If the divine feminine does content, let's say for example, uh, and the man watches it, she, the both of them watch you and she's calling him all crying. Did you hear what she said? Are you going to be leaving me for her? And he's there talking about, it's just a video. Calm down. The whole time that Divine Feminine ain't paying you no mind, honey. 
Oh, the desperation, the desperation to keep a man. I, I, I think there's a there's something that's broken in me because I have no desires whatsoever for this kind of stuff. You all can tell my my, my mood. It's just like what is there is endless. It's the, the the fish. There are other fish in the sea. Why are you stuck on this one person? Oh, is it because you're lazy and don't want to work? Mm, you're gonna have to move on, Sally Linda, because he's moving on. He's healing and he's moving on. You're like it's it's just a video, Linda. Stop watching them. Don't pay attention to it. It's just a video. Like, no, it's not just a video, Linda. He's healing and he's moving on. Yeah, Linda, he's moving on to an empress. Oh, Linda, Linda, Linda. When we go to grandma's house, that's what he's telling you. When I go to grandma's house, <laughs> Linda, 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 you're not listening. Linda, you're not listening. Listen, listen, Linda. Linda, listen. He's moving on. It's not just a video. It's not just a video. You're in fear that someone is healed and they're moving on. And he is, he is, he's moving on. Oh, Linda, look at that. He's moving on to true love, to healing, pouring into himself, connecting to the divine. He don't want to be toxic anymore, Linda. He said, we've been doing this forever. We've been stuck in this cycle forever, Linda. Over and over and over and over and over, Linda. I'm sick of it. I've been trying to make it work. I can't do it anymore. Linda ain't having it. She said, I got to cause more illusions. What do you want? If this is a Linda with money, got herself a sugar daddy, what do you want me to do? You want me to buy you a car? You want a mansion? I know we already have a mansion, but I can buy another mansion. Um, you want a Ferrari? You want a Rolls Royce? You want a Rolex? What do you want? You know what? I'll throw you a 48th birthday party you've never had before. What well, dumb dumb? He's never been 48 before. He's turning 48, right? Okay, okay. I'm gonna go all out for you. And after the party, we can go on a trip to Hawaii. From Hawaii, we'll go to Jamaica. Jamaica, man, right? We can get the accent down, talking about bumba clot. Mm-hmm. And then from there, we can go to Paris. Okay. We can walk down the Champs Elysees. Correct. And he's like, nah, Linda, I don't want none of that. It's not all appealing to me anymore. We've done all of that before. Okay. So Linda is going to keep working on her illusions to keep this man from leaving. And oh, there he goes. He's gone. He said, I'm singing in the rain. I'm sinking in the rain. That man, man don't care. Uh, I'm telling you, he's removing himself. If this was in the reverse, honey, he would be stuck with you. But someone has seen things from a higher perspective. Someone has ascended mentally, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually. He has ascended. So you two don't vibrate on the same frequency anymore. This is like trying to pull someone from the 12th grade to what? The eighth grade. You don't do all that work to get to the twelfth grade, Linda, and you're trying to pull him back to the eighth grade. What's wrong with you? Don't you care about this man? You know what? This is what they said. If you love something, you let it go. If it comes back, then you know it is meant to be, right? Linda, let Bunny, 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 let Clyde go. Clyde wants to be free. Clyde don't went and did the work. Okay. Fly has done the work and he's trying to not be out here papawing people anymore. He's not trying to be out here uh, 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 pickpocketing people anymore. I'm telling you, Clyde, Clyde has done the work. I'm, I'm, you know, adding a little bit of humor to this, but I'm still dead serious. There's a man here that has gone through some type of ascension and there's a woman trying to hold him back. And source is tearing that behind up behind the scenes because of what she's trying to do to him. When he was on your vibration and was okay with doing the things you were doing, that was different. That's the thing about sin. There's a masculine in here that possibly didn't know what he was doing before was wrong. I doubt it for your age, but I'm just going to use this example to, you know, emphasize something or ex explain something. The thing about sin it's, something is only a sin if you don't know what you're doing is a sin. 
let's think about children when they're younger, right? They're into everything. They're taking your apples, your grapes, they're taking your food, they're taking your clothes, you know, like the ones that put on your clothes and stuff like that, going in your closet, or just maybe even taking your money. They're not going to do anything with the money, but they go in your purse, play around in there, take something out. They don't know that all of that is not right, right? You buy your favorite dessert and you put it in the fridge and you come back, it's gone. They just know mom put a dessert in the fridge. They're assuming it's for everybody, right? They can eat it because mom has never told them they can't eat that. Because first of all, why would you tell your child they can't eat in your home? Anyways, oh, Cynthia, stick to the topic. Anyways, so they're into all this stuff, right? Taking this, taking that, taking this, taking that. They don't know they're doing something wrong. So you can't really hold them accountable for that. You can't say that they're committing sin. Until you tell them, hey, stealing is wrong. What you're doing is stealing. And they understand that they aren't really doing anything wrong. They are not awakened. They're not mature enough yet, regardless of their age. They're not mature enough to know the difference. But when they get to a point where they know the difference and they know that taking money out of mom's pocket or mom's purse without her permission is stealing, that's when you know karma comes into place because they're at an age now where you told them repeatedly don't do this don't do that if you do this, this is why we need to teach our children morals and principles to simplify life for them as much as we can don't touch what doesn't does not belong to you don't eat what does not belong to you you need to have boundaries don't be out here sleeping around with any and everybody okay your pack pack is not a universal pack pack okay your instrument is not a universal instrument. There's a reason why it's hidden. You cover it up. It's private. It's called private bars for a reason. Okay? It's not for the whole world. So until someone understands that what they are doing is sin, you can't really hold it against them. Okay? Now, don't be out here talking about, I didn't know it was illegal to pop out people. Yes, you did. And don't and nobody on this planet I don't know papawing people is it is not right. It's a sin. So something is only a sin if they don't know. This masculine was living in darkness before. He was living in darkness. So there are things he was participating in, possibly not everything, because there are things you did, sir, that you knew what were was wrong. But there are things this man was participating in with this woman that he didn't know. That's not how it should be. She carried herself in a specific light where she acted like she was a, a high value woman, a woman of class, a woman of high honor, but she's not. And he's awakening to all of this. And so he's trying to make changes in his life so he can move on. But she's trying to hold him back. You can't do that. We're all on a solo journey. You want to stay karmic, then go find a karmic partner and stick to them. Be karmic with them. But if someone has done the work to heal, you'll need to let them go. They know too much. These kind of people don't go back to sleep. That's why I always use my Sleeping Beauty example on my channel. Sleeping Beauty was asleep for what, thousands of years. And what happened? The prince came and kissed her, and then she woke up. You think she want to go back to sleep after sleeping that long? Nah, I bet you Sleeping Beauty probably didn't blink. Then blink her eyes for a long time. She said, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. if I blink, I might fall back to sleep. I don't want to sleep no more. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Right? So someone has gone through an awakening and she's trying to put them back to sleep. Talking about I'm the divine feminine. Someone has been out here pretending to be something she's not. And it's all out in the open now. And she, I'm telling you, and he's ending this chapter. He said, you've been pretending to be something you're not. Yeah, he went within. He went within. I'm telling you, someone has done the work to heal. And they're committing themselves to continue to heal. Because healing is a lifelong progress. You don't heal in one day. Room was not built in one day. Think of your healing as that. The process of building, building a society, a civilization. It's not built in one day. It's a lifelong process. Even when you're done establishing all of the systems, it's still a progress because there are laws you got to put in place. 
sometimes there are crimes committed that you don't have a law for so you then you got to come up with a new law so that you make sure people are not committing those crimes and things like that it's a work in progress even the united states is a work in progress everywhere you go it's a work in progress that's how people are okay it's just on the level you got the human level the city the state country continental planet it's all a work in progress but when someone does the work to heal you have no authority no business trying to keep them stuck trying to hold on to them for finances what is wrong with you those kind of situations become situations where the man goes from having uh, some type of remorse for you to just despising you because he sees you for who you are and he's a man this is what you've always been man I, I don't know what the heck was wrong with me it, it, they go they go from being remorseful for you to being repulsed at the very sight of you because you just don't get it this is when your mental illness becomes exposed to this person and they see you for who you are yeah and then this is you embarrassed and he's embarrassed too because he's been living this way with you for years not knowing how it looks on the outside but now he sees it this stuff goes deeper you're literally trying to hold someone back from uh, uh healing their bloodline ascending elevating in life like that's how selfish you are and he sees that there's nothing you can do he sees that I'm telling you, he sees that and he's manifesting a new beginning for himself somewhere else. You've been paying people behind the scenes to cost. I'm telling you, he's manifesting a new beginning for himself somewhere else. And it don't got to be with a feminine energy or whoever else, just for himself, because he wants peace. Someone is looking for peace in life and you're not giving them that peace. You're a nightmare for this man. It's a lot of arguing and things like that. Come on, girl, who has time for that? Who has time for that? Nobody got time for that, Linda. Linda, Linda, Linda. You're not listening. Listen, Linda. Linda, listen. I'm telling you. There she go. Still trying to defeat someone. He's healing. And she's still trying to defeat him. They're still trying to defeat him. It's not just her. It's multiple people trying to defeat this man block him from moving i'm telling you block him from moving forward they're still trying to defeat him they've tried to defeat the feminine energy they think he's interested in as well it's not going too well they're gonna have to back up because someone is very protected by source and their angels because every time they take action against this feminine energy something goes wrong in their lives something goes wrong in their lives i'm telling you something goes wrong in their lives someone's in the hospital someone's in a car accident someone lost a job someone's losing a business someone's going to jail it's a whole lot every time they take action against the feminine energy they lose something or something happens to them and someone is barely holding on uh-huh barely holding on so now they know they have to be strategic on how they move. So they may be focusing their attention on him because they've been trying real hard to prevent the feminine energy. But they said this sucker just won't budge. It's one of those situations a group of people come together because the feminine energy gets them together to come destroy you. And they've done everything to destroy you and you won't budge. They said we're going to take this away from you. Take that away from you. Let's see how you're going to get to here. 